it? It's your boy Drew Jeezy, and I am back with you guess another Power Ranger Street Fighter Lightning Collection review. This is a first. Uh, I know this figure's been out for a while, along with other figures you see out in the back. I will be doing reviews on all of those. I'm a little late to the party with some of these figures, so excuse me, guys. Sorry I'm late about this. I know you're trying to get to the stuff as fast as possible, but, you know, stuff happens, man. But nevertheless, I have what you see in front of you and by the thumbnail and the title. I have the Power Ranger. Crossover Street Fighter Lightning Collection figure. This is Chung Lee. I don't think she's the Crane Ranger, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I, nope, she's the Phoenix. All right, so sorry, guys. I know you'll probably kill me in the comments. She is the Morphin Chung Lee Blazing Phoenix Ranger. Uh, this is the new artwork box you have for Lightning Collections and recycle box, as you can tell, compared to the ones behind it. Um, that's the one you can see through it. So they went away from the plastic. And it went to the box with the full artwork all the way around. I think they did that because of cost efficiency. And it, no offense, it looks better. I kind of like it. It looks a little bit better. It gives you more detail to artwork and stuff. And it gives you more room and creativity to play with the with the box itself. And just by seeing this box in person for the first time, by the way, I have not opened this. So this will be the first time you see this uh, open. Uh, but before I go into anything any further, for my first time viewers, thank you so much for watching the review. Please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell for all post notifications. Um, for all my current subscribers who've been rocking with me since day one, um, you know what to do. Give me a comment. Leave me a comment. Not give me. Leave me a comment. And then give me a thumbs up. And I greatly appreciate it. Also, like, share, subscribe, all my stuff, man. Thank you guys so much. Now, back to the Chung Lee Blazing, Blazing Phoenix. Um, you see it spins around on the back. The artwork is pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Power Ranger Lightning Clash is a Street Fighter. You got Chung Lee in her signature pose. So turn to the side. You have Morphin Chung Lee Blazing Phoenix Ranger. Turn to the front. It has Chung Lee doing her, uh, uh, what I call her fast kicks or infinity kicks. I'm not sure exactly what they call. If you guys know what they call, leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Um, enough about this box. Enough about all that, man. We're going to take this thing out the box. Put everything out on the table. We're going to take a closer look at the details. All right, you guys, as you can see, I've taken everything out of the box. Now, once again, I've never opened one of these before. So this is something new. When I first opened it, I thought I was missing a bunch of stuff. But it comes like this. Uh, so I must say this is something new, something different. Didn't expect this. So as you can see, it's got the cool uh, paper, Street Fighter. With the Power Ranger symbols going through it, Pterodactyl, Mastodon, then it's like like Ken, um, look like Cami. Put it on the other side, same thing here. Uh, so let's see what this is. Like almost it's like a surprise. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to rip it as much as I want to. Okay, so I have to rip it, and then what do I have in here? Oh, the accessories. Okay, so this is different, and I wonder if the other. Pass bowls are gonna come like this now with the new um with the new packaging. Okay, so everything is literally in here. So I open up a bag of chips on this. Okay. Make sure nothing is in here. As you can see, bang bang, nothing else. So let me put some of this stuff around. Look like a uh, standee. Looks kind of cheap, but nevertheless, it's a standee. As you can see, uh, I really hate it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I hate it. Um, Chung Lee's Fireball, what's up? Uh, this is nice. I do like this. Great, great articulation. Good, good hard mold plastic. I love the color blue once again. They're matching what the Ranger is. So Chung Lee, of course, is blue and they match out. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, you have the uh, the hands here. They was kind of hiding. You guys know I don't use these hands. These for pose ability. I don't really don't care. There's no point. Uh, she's a fighter. So she's not going to have open hand. I'll sit those there. And of course, you have her Phoenix lightning effect. This is nice. I love the blue translucent color. This is nice. I'm not sure what type of pose I'm going to do when I do this, but I'm looking forward to what I'm going to do creativity wise. But this definitely looks like a Phoenix bird. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. And then, of course, you have um, the 100 the hundred kicks or the infinity kicks, or what I call it. And I love the fact that they put in so much detail. It looks like she's just throwing kicks everywhere. Look like you put the foot in there. And you can just like, she's posing, throwing the kick. So I would love to see how I'm gonna pose her in that. Um, but nevertheless, uh, not sure. And this is Chung Lee. So you will see her in the next frame. So I'm not showing you her that now. I did want to show you all the accessories. I'm gonna spread them out a little bit that she came with. And I must say, I am very, very impressed. This is my first time opening one of these and I did not expect it to be like this. 
So that's the accessories for Chuck Lee. I'm gonna say once again, the Phoenix. Uh, lightning lightning effect is nice. The fireball lightning effect is nice. And I'm calling the infinity kick lightning effect is all nice. And the fact that it's all blue is worth it as well. And I'm hoping that something comes in the Chuck Lee part or the stand. But you guys stay tuned. Put Chuck Lee on the TV on the turnstile. We're gonna take a closer look at her, give you my rating, and kind of let you know what I've been what I've been doing, what I'm going to do, and what you guys should be expecting coming 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 soon down the pipe. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see I've taken Chang Lee out of the uh wrapping, as you can see here. Same wrapping that was on the other one. I've taken her out of the wrapping, and I'm a little conflicted. First impressions on the Ranger itself, the artwork, um, the the range of form they gave her or everything about it i do like that part um articulation wise no i'm sorry not to say cosmetic wise i'm not a fan articulation wise the paint everything is nice it goes together to go with the blue with the white it looks like chung leaks up in a pirate uniform i like that part cosmetically though um i don't really care for it i don't when i first pulled it out it felt really really flimsy compared to the other Rangers that when I pull out the lightning clash, I understand it's a street fighter. I get it. It's just something about this that's not sitting well with me and I don't know why. Um but as I bring it closer, um get you a close eye view for it. You got the Phoenix uh Ranger head, which I once again is really nice. I'm glad they incorporated the pigtails still because that's what she is. Turn it to the back, it's all blue. She got like the Green Ranger shield on the front. I think all of them kind of come with a shield on the front. It's got the Phoenix here in gold, got her um her wrist garlands. Like I say, they kept it authentic. They, they authentic. Nah, nah, nah. They kept it authentic. Authenticated. I might be saying that wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's a little bit late. Me recording this. Um, it looks accurate. That's the word I use. It looks accurate compared to Chung Lee in human form um, as well. Got the white with the yellow going down the side here towards the back. This is Chung Lee. So this is what she looks like in her human form. So having it in a range of form is really nice too. Of course, you guys know you got the double jointed knees here. You got good pivot motion in the calf. The foot goes up and down very well. So it does bend. Same thing on the other side. Good thigh motion here. Give me a second. It's a little stiff. Okay, there you go. So it's a little stiff, so just be careful, guys. Double joint here in the knee as well. Um, the elbow. Oh, it does have a double joint. I was a little worried. But it's really, really flimsy. I'm sorry. Let me get in a better angle. On uh, the double joint here in the elbow, but I don't like it because it's really, really flimsy. I'm not really trying to bend it. Um, the arm garlands here, they are moving a little bit, but it is what it is. Same thing with the other side, double joint here, the garlands here. It's just, it feels fragile. And that's one thing I do not like, the fact that it's fragile. Um, by the way, so I'm not sure how I'm going to pose her because it didn't come with no other things with the standees. I got to see how I'm going to do this. When I try to pose it with the, with the uh, Infinity Kicks, I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work. Um, let me put it back on the turnstile real quick. Give me one second. Let me try to get her to stand on her own first. Turn this off. Put this on here like this. Put her foot down. Okay. So she'll stand. Turn this on. So once again, um, I will get all of them eventually. Let me refocus it. Yes, I will get all of them. I'm hoping the man I built better. I just don't like this. It's something, it just doesn't feel strong. And compared to my other Rangers, even when I do reviews on the three in the back, I'm gonna really emphasize the one on the Dino Thunder Yellow because I want to see the difference between the one they built for that one and why they did Chun Lee the way they did her. I'm not sure why they did that, but they did. But um, nonetheless, I'm glad I do have it. You know, as all collectors, you know, we're not going to get a home run on every figure. I understand that. I feel like as long as Hasbro have been doing it, especially when you're doing a crossover, Street Fighter, Power Rangers thing, you guys have put more emphasis on the structure of the of the uh, figure. I just, once again, don't really care for how they structured it. It doesn't feel strong compared to the other Rangers, other counterparts, anyway, for Lightning Collection. So, my rating for this, guys. Um, it's going to be a hard seven. It, it really is. That's one of my lowest ratings I've done. In the last two and a half years of doing reviews, it's just I don't like the way it feels. Uh, Hasbro, uh, once again, hopefully when I get the Cami, the Kid, and the Ryu, I have a different perspective, a different uh, ad, uh, a different view on it as well. But right now, I just don't like that, and that's oof, that's saying a lot because I like everything like uh, Hasbro makes, and if they do the women 
the, the female Rangers kind of bogus with the way they do the joint manipulation and stuff compared to the guys. I understand the guys are stronger. I get that. But you need to make them kind of even across the board. They don't have to be muscular, but make them don't feel like they're flimsy, like you bit it wrong, get a break. Um, but yeah, I'm giving it a hard seven, you guys. I'm giving it a hard seven. Uh, I ain't going to give you B-roll footage uh, the best that I can, the best that I can do, what I have, and the poses. Uh, what I've been doing lately, um, getting prepared for C2E2. So by the time you see this video, um, this will be Monday. I recorded C2E2 is going on that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be going Saturday, you guys, to give you some great content, some great footage. I will be vlogging, and then I will probably also um, have some stuff when I come back from C2E2. Uh, that Black Ranger you see back there, uh, Johnny Anabosch will be in Chicago for C2E2 for Saturday. So I'm definitely looking forward to meeting him and get him to sign my Black Ranger stuff, my my Zeo Green, my 1-6 scale uh, Ranger as well. It's also been signed by the OG Walter Jones. Shout out to Walter Jones. Um, if you guys have not seen any of those videos, please watch those. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing that. In the near future, you guys, I will come with some more um, fighting armor figures, some more power stuff, as you guys know, some more Techno Man stuff, some more Marvel. I got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. Some uh, just a lot of school stuff, you guys. I'm still trying to get some more Gundams, they're a little bit hard to track down right now. So, you guys just bear with me. I'm gonna get them as soon as possible. But, you guys are gonna be surprised a lot of stuff I get. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, watching this review. Once again, from my first time viewers who are watching this for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, see that bell uh, for all post notifications. Please leave me a like, please leave me a comment, please give me a thumbs up, you guys. It costs you nothing but your time hit that button i greatly appreciate it. it goes a long way for me and the more you guys hit that button for me the more i can produce reviews for you guys and you guys can live through me and find out whether it's worth getting or maybe you get it for yourself and you might want to see for your own you may not take my word for it which is fine because that's why it's a review because everybody has different opinions about it but thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate it y'all know how i do whoa hold on so shout out to all my youtube inspirations talk at car reviews mr organic cj 32s life with Corey. i mean the hellcat why well, I feel like I'm missing somebody? I probably am. And if I am, leave a comment below who I'm probably missing. I feel like I'm missing somebody. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And that's it, you guys. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Till next time, you guys, I am out. Subscribe.